Hello there guys, it's Cool Fox over here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to overclock your graphics card. My particular card is the GTX 964GB edition by Palette, but the same steps are used to overclock other graphics cards of other brands. Keep in mind that not every card is the same, and while I may get this amount of overclock on my card, you may get a lower or higher amount of overclock depending on your GPU. Even if you have the same model I have, you will get a different amount of overclock. So don't copy my overclock to your card as it might damage it. The first program you will need is MSI Afterburner, which you can get by clicking on the link below. Once you've clicked on the link, you are greeted to this website, go to the Downloads tab and press on Download Afterburner. After that's done, you need a benchmarking program and the ones we will use are going to be Unigen Heaven, Unigen Valley and 3D Mark. First download Heaven, which you can also get from the link below, and open it up. So, go to the link, press on free download, once it's downloaded, go to the installation, and open it up. Then open up MSI Afterburner, press on yes, and you're greeted with its UI. Going over the options a bit, you can see the voltage which we will not mess around with in this video and as it might damage the card power limit which we will also not mess around with core clock which will, we will adjust to get an FPS boost memory clock which we will also use to also get an FPS boost and fan speed first off choose a resolution that you want the benchmarking program to run in so open up Unigen Heaven so check the resolution of your monitor, minus 1080p, check full screen and press on run. After you've done that you're greeted with the loading screen and then when it loads press on benchmark. And then leave it on with the test and after it's done copy the score. Okay so once the benchmark is finished copy down the score somewhere and the frame rate and then we can move on so then you should quit the program so now we can begin with the overclock so first we will adjust the core clock with increments of 25 megahertz just to be safe and uh, yeah so let's do that so plus 25 and hit apply now choose a resolution that uh, fits not that doesn't fit the whole screen but uh, at least like half or something of that. So we chose 720p and not full screen. So we can still see MSI afterburner and then we hit run. As you can see it opened up a smaller window. And uh, yeah you should after it's done loading you should hit on benchmark and let it go and test itself out. But I won't do that as I already know the limit of my graphics card. And yeah, whilst the program is benchmarking, be sure to have MSI Afterburner open and check on the GPU temperatures. If it's really high, I would suggest that you bump up the fan speed. In fact, I usually leave it at 60% and as you can see right here, it is at 60%. And then after the benchmark is done, bump up the core clock with another 25 megahertz bringing it to 50 megahertz so let's do that right now and hit apply and then hit benchmark again after you've made this a few times you may see that either the program crashed or you're seeing black spots in the program which are called artifacts if so bump down the core clock down to the overclock you did before and make sure that it's stable now we move on to the memory clock and you should do the same as we did with the core clock but I would suggest not going over the core clock as you may damage the card. I suggest leaving it at about 10 MHz uh, less than the core clock. Once you see that you've reached your GPU's limit, quit the program and put it in full screen and compare your results with before. If you see that you got a better score than before then you've successfully overclocked your card. So let's do that right now. Now my overclock limit was at 235 on the core clock and 225 on the memory clock. So then you hit apply and then if you still have the program open, 
just quit the program and rerun it at the your monitor resolution at full screen just to compare the the score you have right now with the overclock with the other score that you had before the overclock so i will do that right now so this is the score i got which is a score of 895 now that is a lot better than the other score of 804 before i did the overclock so yeah that's a pretty good win and uh, keep in mind that you may get even better results than i have and uh, the score before this was that low because pretty much the motherboard isn't that good and the PCI slot is two times instead of three times so you should get a better uh, result than the benchmark I had before so yeah keep that in mind so with the overclock you should maybe get over a thousand if you go over my overclock which was of about 235 on the core and 225 on the memory so yeah if you do uh, post down in the comments below and I would love to see your uh, score after the benchmark. So after that's done you can quit from the program itself. Now after you did that benchmark with the overclock make sure that you didn't see any artifacts or make sure that the program didn't crash because if it did then you should underclock the card to like for example if I had the clock at 225 before and I did it at 235 and the game crashed and the program crashed you should go back to 225 since you know that's not a stable overclock now just to make sure that you have a stable overclock download the other two programs now first we will download Unigine Valley which there is the link in the description and uh, yeah you are greeted in this site you just press on free download and then download 3D Mark from Steam, which there will be a link in the description as well. Now run Unigen Valley Benchmark a couple of times and see that there is no artifacting or crashing. And uh, once you've done that, download the 3D Mark and open it and run Firestrike. Keep in mind that 3D Mark is a very GPU heavy program, so the frame rate shouldn't be as smooth as the other programs unless you have a very beefy card. So let's do that right now. So opening up the Valley benchmark, you can see right here the language and you know all the other uh, settings from the Unigen uh, Heaven. And uh, yeah, put the resolution at system or you know your monitor's um, resolution and just hit on run. So I will do that right now and you will see the scores of my particular GPU. Okay, so now the uh, benchmark has finished and this is my final score with the overclock. Now, uh, again, I would love to see your score down in the comments below, so be sure to leave it down in the comments. And now, once that's done, you can quit out of the program. Now, you can also close that. And uh, the next and final program that we will use is 3D Mark. And yeah, after the benchmark is done, I will show you the score. So, see you then. Okay, so I tried to run some benchmarks on 3D Mark, but as you can see right here, it gave me a score of zero because it didn't even run. So yeah, it, I'm pretty sure that's not the graphics card itself. It doesn't have to do with it because I tried it another uh, time before, and I got a score of around 6,800. And uh, yeah, I also tried Time Spy, which did work, but the scores were abnormally low, and a lot of people said that they had problems so i will not show you the score it was at about 1500 anyway so but yeah i wouldn't really um rely on the score of time spy for now but uh, fire strike usually works so i would rely on this score and maybe compare it with other graphics cards and uh, yeah so that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like down below and as I said, comment down below your scores after the overclocks. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more weekly videos and I will see you next time.